everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. Welcome back to my channel. And today, I was just thinking, I was looking at, you know, trying to get my focus right and everything. I have got so many different things going on in my face today. And it's because I was trying to wear everything I wanted to show you. So, and then I had an eye look that I was copying. So, I really am not feeling it, but I wanted to be able to show you everything. Okay, so first of all, probably the thing that you or I noticed the most is my eyebrows. And I was watching Casey, Casey Holmes. And if you guys, she's got a million or more subscribers, so I'm sure most of you watch her, but she is one of those people that I can still go watch and she still does tutorials and I still can get inspired. You know, she does good favorites. She doesn't do a bunch of crazy stuff. It's just kind of like old school YouTube and I love that. And I was watching her favorites the other day and she mentioned this and it is the um, Revolution, yeah, Revolution Pro dark brown brow volume and sculpt gel and so i wrote it down and i got it that day and it is so good it comes with this little bitty wand so that you can really the first day i used it i i was thinking i guess i hadn't used anything like this in a while and i just kind of did like that and it's so pigmented you can't do that but that's what makes it kind of special because it's really pigmented. It's almost like using a pomade or whatever, you know, in a wand. And so if you really just are precise and get in there, you can really do your brows with this one product. Another thing I got when I was in there that day, um, Brooke was working at Ulta and she said, oh, we've got Thrive. So I went over to the little you know, it's just like a little teeny section of Thrive Cosmetics. And so I thought I would just pick up a lip gloss. And so this one is the Lip Mate High Shine Reviving Topper. Huh. Vegan Collagen Complex. And um, says, get your shine on. And the, the name of it is Charlotte. And it's a mauve shimmer. They had a much pinker one, kind of like a clear one. And then maybe... Hmm, maybe a bronzy one or something like that. There was like four or five to choose from. And when I first put it on, I thought, eh, you know, it, it just didn't wow me, but I thought I'm not gonna take it back because I think it's good for your lips. It has a bunch of, you know, their products are cruelty-free, uh, beauty with a purpose. For every product purchase, we donate to help a woman thrive. Huh, well, that's nice. I didn't know that. Uh, let's see, meet the perfect match for your favorite lip hue or bare pout. Lip Mate High Shine Reviving Topper. Powered by our proprietary vegan collagen complex, which combines lip-loving peptides, time-released hyaluronic microspheres, and oils to hydrate and plump your lips. Wear alone or, or, wear, or layer on top of your favorite lip color. Okay, that's perfect because that will go right into the next thing that I'm gonna show you. So I'm just gonna swatch it here on its own because. That day I just wore it on its own and it's got a lot of color. It's really pretty. I think I did a, an Instagram post if you wanna go over there and look. And so, and it felt good. You know, it felt like one of those things just like lip conditioner. So since it's a lip topper, I will go into the next thing that I have on that's probably most prominent and that is a lip combo. I went yesterday to get a blowout at where Morgan, Morgan works, she does her hair color at one salon, but then a couple days a week, just to mix it up, she works at like a blowout, it's called Set Blowout Bar, and so I went there to get my hair blown out, and one of the girls that works there, I always admire her lip combo, and so I asked her what it was, and it's this melted matte lip long wearing and it's called Queen Bee. Yeah, Queen Bee. So this is what I have on. And then I said, well, what's the lip liner? Cause I could tell she had a, you know, a prominent lip liner on. And the lip liner is from this Kylie Jenner kit. And she said that the lip from this is too dark, but she likes the lip liner. And it is so nice. It is our kind of lip liner. So here, let me swatch. I don't know if I even need to swatch cause you see it on my lips, but I will. So the Queen Bee is just that good mauve nude lip color. 
And then this is the lip liner. Very similar to, you know, everything I like, to Ideal, to my uh, nude sandals, to Bronzel, all of them, but very velvety and matte, and so that is what I have on. And I bet this would last all day. And, you know, if you like matte lips, you would love this. I tend to like just at least a little bit of shimmer or gloss, so this will be perfect. So we'll put this over this lip. I'm not gonna put too much because I don't want it to be, I don't want to remove it. I'm, I'm gonna enjoy wearing it all day. So that is what this is. And I like it. I probably wouldn't have, I'll go into the eyes in a minute, but I wouldn't have done all this together on a typical day, but it's worth it to be able to show it to you. Okay. Now, my eyes. My eyes, I just saw, I ran across, I think it actually just came up on my feed. I ran across a new girl on Instagram, and I will put the picture in here so you can see it better, but I loved her eye look, and I failed miserably, but sometimes you have to fail a little bit to learn what not to do, but um, I'll put the picture in here. I just loved the way her eyeliner is so smudged out. I actually messaged her to see what eyeliner it is. I used the, I bought the L'Oreal gel liner, the one that I like espresso in, and I smudged it out and I, I could get everything, but the thing I had trouble with was that gold in there. I don't have like a liquid goldy eyeshadow like she's got on. I really need a pencil. So I think I might today get maybe like one of the nude sticks or something because I wanted something that had like some slip to it in order to smudge out that brown or that black liner. And um, so I will have that for you to show you next time. But um, so I just love that look. So that's, let me pull you in a little bit closer. Here you go. So you can see where I tried, I used the Urban Decay Naked Honey palette and it was a little too gold and then I had to try to go over it with everything. But one of the colors that I use that I think everyone needs, whether you like warm tones, cool tones, is I used MAC Uninterrupted and that is a shadow that they discontinued and it was so popular they brought it back. It's just a good shadow. It is not one that you would look at and think, oh my gosh, that's so pretty but it is a good one. It's just, it just gives you that um, kind of tawny saddle look and it's good for just like that contoured eye socket. So anyway, that is my eyes. And then the next thing I wanted to show you is something I got from Dean. I ended up seeing this on his website when I was um, linking some of the other stuff for you guys on my last video. And I made a special request for this necklace because I was just, taken with it and it's adjustable you just adjust the little you know you can slide the knot so you can make it a long necklace or what I like and I will put the picture of the model in here but look how pretty that is it's just very um let me get my face out of the way it is really cool looking it will look really good like today I don't think it would look good on top of a shirt I think it looks better on your skin on your decollete but just so pretty so thank you so much to Dean for sending that to me. And last but not least, before I do my outfit of the day, I have another Louis Vuitton unboxing. I purchased this, actually John purchased this last weekend. Um, I think it was after I did, yeah, it was after I did my Pouchette Matisse unboxing. But before then, when I got my Chanel bag, he mentioned that he wanted to get me a Chanel wallet to go with my Chanel handbag. And I was like, well, cool. I mean, of course I was happy with that. And then after I did that unboxing, so many of you recommended so many pretty Louis Vuitton wallets that were either red or had red in them. And I fell in love with one. So I ended up ordering it or I asked um, Denise at Louis Vuitton if she had it and she didn't, but she said that she would let me know as soon as she got it in and she did. So, so. I haven't even seen it in person. I waited with you guys to open it and then she sent me another box of fragrances and um, she said her favorite is this one and it is 
um, my goodness, I'll put it down below. It, Cause she's someone that has worked there for years and gets to try all of them. And I'm so thankful because I'm so into fragrances right now. Okay, so here it is. I'm sliding it open. And it's in its little case. I'm so excited. I haven't had a new wallet in a long, long time. Here it is. Oh my goodness. It is so pretty. That is gorgeous. When I saw this, I thought that is the perfect mix of having a red wallet, but it not just being a solid red wallet. And I wanted to zip around because I like these and I've noticed that sometimes if you have a wallet with like a big emblem or even the studs on my hobo wallet or the flap or whatever, which the hobo wallet, you can't go wrong. I mean, I would get another one in a heartbeat and I might still get another one. So if you like a nice wallet, the hobo wallet is a, it's still kind of expensive, but not this expensive. But anyway, what I was saying is I like that this one doesn't have anything because it will slide down in the purses easier. Oh my goodness. This is so nice. This is really nice. This is more than I thought it would be because I don't even know if I really looked at what it would have inside. So it has like the Louis Vuitton little thing. So I have all my cards there and then it has a little thing back there because I was worried about not having enough card space. And then it has the zippy part and then it has another part where you can put stuff in there and then more cards. So this may, let me get my hobo out, wallet out real quick. Okay, so here's my hobo that I've had forever. And so this one just opens like that and then it has those card, but it has, see it has both sides of card cases. No, it doesn't. This one is just money. So yeah, let's compare the sizes. This one is maybe just a little bit bigger because of the frame, but it's still, you know, a good size wallet. And this without a doubt would be one of my top recommended holiday gifts for anyone, for a family member, for, you know, sister, mother-in-law, sister-in-law, those people that are kind of hard to buy for. Even if you just got one, because it's called like a wallet clutch, I believe. Even if you got a black one for them to wear, you know, just as a clutch sometimes, it would be worth it. I love this. This was like a special edition. Love that. This is actually my Christmas present from John, but I didn't want to wait to show you because I want to go ahead and start using it. And um, I love it. The next thing I wanted to do is, this is a little jacket that I just got a couple of weeks ago from H&M and it's the first time that I've worn it. It comes, I believe, in a couple of different colors, but it's a little bit different than a blazer like I would typically wear. It's more of a coat. So I'm gonna stand up and what I wanted to show you is how you can get like a little core outfit and change your jackets and change your shoes and create so many different looks. And it started because I couldn't decide what shoes to wear. So I thought, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try them all on and just let you see how you can have the same thing on but change up just a few things and it you know changes up the whole look. So I'll be right back. So the, what I'm starting out with is my favorite leggings ever. Leggings, they do make a difference. I mean, some things I'll tell you just get whatever white t-shirt, like this t-shirt, I really love it, but I think you could probably find, you know, I'll find either the Madewell t-shirt or H&M t-shirt or something. I think just find one that's boxy, that's not too long, so you don't have a whole lot to tuck in. But um, leggings, I think they make a difference. These are the high-waisted Zella. They are my favorite. And so this is, what we're starting out with today. Now, if I did my black t-shirt, I would probably go in a different direction with shoes and everything else. So today we're gonna stick with just a white t-shirt. And the first shoes that I'm wearing are the most comfortable boots I have probably ever worn. They are just as comfortable as a pair of sneakers. And I was looking this morning to see if they were even still available. They're still on sale. They're available in most sizes, and I believe it was 44 reviews and five stars. That's how comfortable they are. So these are the Tory Burch, and when I'm dressing like this, I 
either go with one of these things. If I'm going to tuck my shirt in and go with leggings, it creates a much taller look, but I want to go with a long, you know, coat, whatever, sweater, whatever. So I was going to show you like three different looks. And I think with this, what I would wear is maybe this. And this is a James Purse like knit blazer. I got this at the Nordstrom sale one year and I tell you, every year I think, is the Nordstrom sale worth it? Is it worth it for me to, you know, try to get there first and all this kind of stuff? This is one of the things that I remember that I love so much from the Nordstrom sale. So it keeps me going back. But I did find another one on Nordstrom last night that is a knit, you know, long blazer like this. But this, whoo, this is a good one. So this is probably what I would wear with these shoes. It's just simple and comfortable. If you are in a really cold climate, you could even put another like big faux fur or something on top of this or layer a trench over it, which would look perfect with that little like tan, little bit of stripe down there. And um, so this is my first look that I would do with just the white t-shirt and the Zella leggings. And then my next look, and you know what I was thinking? I am gonna work on getting a, like a microphone, a mic. I usually hate that because I don't like it when somebody sounds like they're on the news or something. I don't know, I don't, I don't wanna ever sound like. And then the next outfit is my, I love these. These are right up there with comfort level to the Tory Burch. There's just something about a boot constructed like this with this lug sole. Even though they're high, they're just so comfortable. And these are the Louboutin with the studs on the front. No regrets on these. I'm so glad I went for it because this was out of my comfort zone a little bit. And um, they weren't cheap, but I'm so glad I got them because they're like with an outfit like this, they're the statement piece. And then this is the long coat I was telling you about. It's not real thick or heavy, which is perfect for me here. So this is what I would wear. It's got a little bit of, I don't know. I feel like this coat looks good with combat boots because it's classy, but it's got like that little bit of edge and that little bit of, um, I don't know. I keep wanting to say mafia or like, um, I don't know, that gangster type look that goes with this. And I just love it. And this has like the side pockets. And I love it. This was what I originally planned on wearing today, but when I felt like I had so many options, I felt like I would share them with you. And um, I love this. And I love it without a necklace. You could put a scarf, but I don't want to ruin just like the simplicity of it, especially with these shoes. And the next look is I was thinking about these new boots that I have. And the thing is, I would not want to wear these boots with a white t-shirt. It's just too much. So if you wore your black t-shirt underneath, I love the snakeskin boots. And I love how the jacket kind of goes all the way down to the boots. And so I was thinking, this is just like a one button coat, but if you, like I could do it like this and then put a cool brooch or something right there. I just love the way it looks, all black and then the boots. But, you know, if you didn't want to have to button this up or you, know, you could easily put like a really cool scarf, like button this and put a really cool scarf or whatever, but these boots, I love them. I'm so glad I got these. So here is going to be more of a casual look. I've got my Barefoot Dreams cardigan, which is my all-time favorite. It's more of that like chenille type cardigan, but I also like the one from Scoop Walmart that is real long and square and has the patch pockets. That is another one. This one is just my all-time favorite. So this cardigan, with your leggings, take off your socks, and my Gucci loafers. Now these are the ones with the fur. I know not everybody likes these. I've got the regular ones too, 
But to jazz it up, because it's so plain, I would probably wear the ones with the fur, that chair, over a little bit, so maybe you could see a little bit better. But I love like this type of outfit. This is something you can throw on every day. These shoes are so interesting and they're very, very, very comfortable, but I also equally love the ones with no fur. And I love the white ones too. They have like the little studs on them. They're really cool. Next look, I've gone back to my blazer. It doesn't have to be like a knit blazer, but there's just something really cool about the look of a knit blazer. And then with this outfit, I've put on my Stella McCartney, um, I can't remember what they're called now, but it is the Platform Oxfords. And these, I can just see the back of them too, because they got really cool like the blue and red on the back. And I was watching some videos from Trini London. I don't know if you guys ever watch her, but she wears these and that is the exact, her look is the exact look I think of when I think of these shoes. And I actually have a big surprise that I had ordered today and they're supposed to be here today. And Laura Vitale is the one that showed them to me and it is a really cool dupe for these shoes. And oh, I hate to not, you know what? I'm gonna make you wait. <laughs> I'm gonna make you wait till this weekend and I'll do another video and show them to you. But I'm really excited. I hope that when I get them, I'm gonna like them as much as I think I am. They're so cool looking. I think this is probably what I'm gonna end up wearing today just cause I haven't worn these, but like two times so far but um, just a really neat shoe and make sure you get a sock. I would not wear these with a long sock. I like it when a little bit of your skin shows. I just think it's part of the look. And um, these look good with trousers too, like long drapey wide leg trousers. These look really good with. And have I done it? Is that it? The only other shoes I want to show you is these. Best gift ever. If you want to give someone something really cool, these Ugg, little slipper shoes they have a full they're in the shoe department they're not slippers but i wear them as slippers every single day they're what i wear all day no matter what i wore them yesterday to get my pedicure and everything they're warm and you can go outside drive in them go places in them but yet you can still wear them around the house and I have not touched any other, no Javianas or slippers or anything since I got these. And they come in like leopard and all kinds of cool colors and stuff. They run true to size. I got the eight and they're just, I think they're the best gift. And so another thing I could wear is I could put these on with my sweater and that would be, that would really look good too. <laughs> hey, so I hope you guys enjoyed that little, <laughs> that little try on session. Um, the earrings I have on today, I wanted something simple, so I put on the, oh goodness, I can't want to say Tory Burch, but the Kendra Scott earring crawlers. I think they're gorgeous. Again, another good gift idea. And the ring that I got and I showed you in that Kendra Scott video, isn't that pretty? It just, for something so simple, it is just so pretty. Lincoln Park After Dark on my nails and um, just the same necklace that I wear all the time from Oliver, and that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you saw something, a good gift idea, something to inspire you, something a little special you might want for Christmas or something like that. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you this weekend. Bye-bye.